We've been talking today with Paula Prius. So Paula, another hot topic of late is the Me Too movement. I know. I did a video on the do's and don'ts in the workplace because it's getting pretty complicated. And sometimes it's pretty embarrassing without a scorecard. For instance, earlier this year I left a voicemail for former New York Attorney General Eric Snyderman thanking him for his Me Too support. Well, we all make mistakes. So get this, Christian. The very next day I went to work, I had two dozen red roses on my desk with a note that read, Guess who? I still don't know who it is, but the timing is a bit weird. Now, you don't have to answer this question, but as someone in the media, have you ever been put in an uncomfortable position? Oh, it's okay, I'm happy to. And knock on wood, the answer is no. But I've been lucky because I've never worked for NBC. I mean, it's funny since I always dreamt to be the co-host on the Today Show, and now there's even accusations against Tom Brokaw. And fortunately, I've also never worked for PBS or NPR, who both have their own problems, or CBS. I forgot about Charlie Rose. Wow. I am in an industry filled with perverts. <laughs> so Paula, what other things do you do besides your media work? Well, I'm a spokesman, spokesperson, for this wonderful company that makes vegan pet food. My own dog has been eating it for years. Your dog is a vegetarian? Vegan, and her name is Chomsky. She's a little emaciated, but you know what they say, you can never be too thin or too rich. And besides, she has the lowest cholesterol of any dog in America. That's amazing. There is one problem though, my crazy apartment neighbor. Oh, she is deaf as a doornail, and she just has this polka music blaring all the time while she makes these German sausages, and the stench just seeps through my wall, and it drives my dog absolutely bonkers. You know, I have had to paint the same wall four times because of her scratching. That's gotta be annoying. <laughs> You're telling me. And not only that, Christian, but she's got that awful Rush Limbaugh blaring at volume 11. The old bat is driving me insane. So tell me about your family. Well, there's not much to tell. My father plays the steel drum in a reggae band. My mom makes dream catchers for folks in nursing homes. My older sister teaches self-esteem in elementary schools. And my younger brother is the black sheep of the family. Why the black sheep? Well, for one thing, he's an economics major in college, and he's always reading radical books that my mom used to find hidden under his mattress. In what books? I can't remember. I think one of them was called The Serfdom Highway or something like that. The Road to Serfdom by Friedrich Hayek? That's it. Needless to say, my parents were horrified. I swear he's adopted. Well, at least it wasn't porn. <sighs> if only. Porn would make a lot more sense. And it gets worse. His girlfriend just posted a photo on Instagram wearing a MAGA hat. Can you believe it? A freaking MAGA hat. Oh, you poor thing. I know. I mean, what if my boss or coworkers ever saw this? I would be banned from working in the media forever. Really? Really. Darn. Anything wrong? Stormy's lawyer just canceled our interview. God, I can't believe this. Yeah, I must be the only journalist in America that he's ever canceled. Well, that's a tough break. Well, I think we're about out of time. Thank you so much for talking to us and letting us get to know the mind of a political reporter in today's society. Journalist, Christian. Political journalist. My apologies. I keep forgetting. No biggie. Thank you, Christian, for having me. You know, for a right-wing wacko, you're okay. I'm honored. Well, folks, until next time, this is Christian Toto from HollywoodInToto.com.